Paul, a disappointing afternoon, obviously, to go out the cup. What's your immediate thoughts on the match? Uh, exactly that. Disappointment, an opportunity wasted. Uh, same issues flagging up, so I've just said it in there. I'm sick of standing here and say we'll continue to get better. Maybe we can't, uh, but we need to do more. We need to show more pride in, in keeping the ball at the net and we need to be a bit more clinical. That's for patience and at certain times we showed patience but when we got in the final third I thought we rushed things too often. Uh, you need to be cuter with that and credit to them, they make it difficult when they go down to 10 men, obviously they've got to do that, they've got to change how they are. They were proper aggressive with us the first part of the game and came after us. Uh, arguably should be one up within that period, the one they hit the bar. Uh, we managed to to get out on occasion, Cal hits a post, but it's an opportunity wasted and it's it's gone now, you can't get it back. We can stand here on a league game and say, nobody's taking the league with the scruff of the net and you get an opportunity to gain eight points back, but we don't. It's, it's done for another season and that's a, the galling part. You mentioned there you thought things were a bit rushed in the final third, not quite as effective as you, you'd like them to be. How do you go about changing that, I suppose, is, is a key question. It's difficult when you're you're in the thick of it. It's tough at that stage. Uh, at half time, all we do is preach a message of patience, and the goal will come, and it probably comes sooner than even I thought when when we get the goal, which then gives you an even better opportunity to to go through or at least create more chances uh, when they're down to the ten men. But uh, we've never ever done enough to to do that. I noticed Stephen Herrington came off after about four or five minutes of the second half. Was that a, a tactical change? Was that injury related? What was that no, down to? Neither nor. Uh, the fact they had a yellow card and uh, we got back in the game. I was comfortable enough that Big EK would go in there and get touches and do a similar job. There wasn't the same onus on him having to show a real defensive edge and he could just go on the football and make passes for there. So it was mainly just to protect Stevie and protect us in terms of the referee getting a chance to even it out. Wraith, I think, only had, respectfully, maybe three chances today, but two of them end up in, in the back of the net. Is that that kind of ruthless edge? Is something you must be a little bit a little bit envious of just now? Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's more the other side. I mean, we need to be clinical. There's no getting away from that, but I don't think we created too many opportunities to, to be that today. But when you're at home, you need to shut up shop and make sure... When they go down to 10 men, you're fully concentrated and you don't allow them those opportunities and unfortunately we didn't do that. Is that the frustrating thing from your perspective, Paul, that you know not the, the goals, because any manager or player hates to lose goals, but was it the, the nature of the goals that you lost today? Hugely frustrating. It's uh, like a broken record stood here and it's just concentration. Uh, I, I've got total trust in the group of players, total trust, uh, and I continue to tell them that, but... They have to give us something back as well and they have to uh, be more concentrated, be more focused, be more ruthless and that's not just at the top end of the pitch, that's in terms of their defending as well and be a bit more nasty with their work and I don't mean that by flying into tackles, just have a real pride in saying no, we're not going to concede goals and unfortunately we never heard that. Ray Throvers, to their credit, especially at the end when Falkirk did have them pinned back, I thought they defended quite well because Jamie McDonald didn't have, respectfully, too too much to do today. Yeah, exactly, that's the difference. That's that pride in defending and keeping the ball at the net. And I think it, it's uh, typified with the last shot. I'm not sure who it is that hits it for the edge of the box. And it's an incredible block. I think it was Paul Dixon that lines it up for the shot. And it's a brilliant block. And it's just that desire to say, yes, here we are and we'll stand up to it. And... Unfortunately, I know we've just not done that well enough. It's a soft, soft goal, the second one. Is that a question then of what you're saying there, Paul? Is that like character almost? that We want the players to, to go out and show a bit more character in the next game? In all honesty, I see character day in, day out. I see them work hard day in, day out. Uh, is it a concentration thing? I don't know. I'm, I'm continually trying to uh, put my finger on it. Uh, and again, we'll continue to try and get our finger on it. But... Uh, as it stands today, it doesn't uh, it doesn't help us. It's too late. Like I say, we can't gather anything back. We're out of the cup, and and that's uh, hugely frustrating because it was too good an opportunity, and we've passed it up. Moving on now, it's it's back to league action next week. Uh, an away game at through at Fir Hill against Queens Park. If your side's going to bounce back and take some points in that match, what do you what do you need to change? We, we just need to keep uh, working hard on the training pitch. We just need to uh, regroup. 
uh, continue to to work at what we see as weaknesses and, and hope we can get better but uh, you can put all the work in you want we can be cut but when you concede goals like that it's, it's it's sometimes there's only so much work you can do you're looking for a bit more from from certain individuals at certain times just finally Paul uh, some of the fans were asking in terms of, I know this is slightly early but at what stage do you start looking at recruitment for January uh, is that already underway yeah I mean we're, we're constantly looking that that doesn't stop that's a uh, kind of constant you're uh, continually looking at players and looking at how you can improve the squad uh, you've obviously got budgets that are uh, part of that as well that you need to look at so uh, whether it be shuffling the pack at certain times then that's something we need to look at as well but we're continually doing that Paul as always thanks for your time cheers Lewis. thanks very much Paul